Hey y'all, Countryman here. Uh, I haven't shaved. Hair looks like crap. I don't care. Uh, I done a video yesterday on my new food dehydrator. And I put about two and a half pounds of carrots on it and a half a stalk of celery. Well, I want to show you what I come up with. There is the half a stalk of celery. Not very much at all. There's a little bit of carrots in there. And, uh, and this is a pint jar. And this is also what I came up with on the carrots. These things turned out delicious. They're just as sweet as candy. And they turned out real good. Now, this is two and a half pounds of carrots into a pint jar. Uh, can we say less, less shelf space? I don't have any uh, oxygen absorbers right now, but they're on my to-do list. So, this is what came out of uh, seven trays on a dehydrator. It doesn't take up very much room. And uh, they're a little dark because I did not blanch them. That blanching sets the color, but uh, in my opinion, it also takes out some of the vitamins that uh, that you got to put up with, or you would lose. So I'm going to get, uh, you know, flack either way, if blanching or not that blanching. But uh, I'm going to continue to dehydrate. I've got. Uh, a whole bunch of cans of peas uh, that I may dehydrate up uh, if they start going out of date or whatever. Uh, I don't do peas that often, but I did make that pea uh, soup here of the day. I dehydrated those. I uh, ground them up in my bullet blender, and then I added some water back to them with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper and it actually tasted pretty good so I'm thinking celery I could do this again with just what I got right here that is another batch of tea three soup I could throw this in there and uh, I've got I don't have any uh, cabbage right now, but uh, I've seen uh, Moving On 04 and Mrs. Volpe and a whole bunch of others uh, do the uh, dehydrated cabbage. Now, once you drop those back into the water and start boiling them up for a, uh, a soup, they don't turn out and look as pretty as they did if it would have been fresh fresh veggies but uh, the flavors there and in a significant altering life event sales situation uh, it would feed you you could take these up if you had some full bags uh, measure it out what you need put your oxygen absorber in there seal that bag up and you could throw that boil you a pot of water throw that off in it throw you some any kind of meat that you have off in it and within an hour you could have a pot of soup that would feed a small army put three bags in there you could feed a big army and it weighs absolutely nothing and it costs nothing to fix the dehydrator your air conditioning your stereo and your TV runs more than the dehydrator I just uh, was talking to a friend of mine Alex and he wanted to know what the amperage was on it. Well, it doesn't say what the amperage is, but it's 700 watts is what my uh, dehydrator is. So, you could take one, uh, one maybe two batteries, a uh, solar panel, charge up them batteries, and, and, and then put you a 1,000 watt inverter on there and run your dehydrator. And uh, or you could make you a uh, solar oven and uh, make your own dehydrator. 
there's a whole lot of different ways that you can uh, you know dehydrate stuff but uh, these are things that you know I hope we never need any of it I hope that uh, we can all go to the grocery store or if we live in the country we can all uh, do our own stuff and grow our own groceries I seen a deal on Facebook that uh, was talking about uh, you know Monsanto and all these other big places wouldn't even be in business if we got back to the basics and grew our own garden and grew out our own food and whatever we wouldn't have to worry about what they put in our food if we grew it ourselves that is a something I can live with I don't have a problem with uh, growing my own food killing my own animals or whatever uh, you don't name your food unless it's pork chop and ham. Those are two good names for pigs. They know what their mission in life is, and they know what where they're going to line, wind up. And you know where they're going to wind up. Uh, bleeding heart liberals that think that animals have uh, rights. Uh, the good Lord said that we're supposed to uh, have dominion over all animals on the earth and we eat them they are food so that goes along with the uh, all the plants on the earth some of them we abuse some of them we don't some of them we eat uh, you know all things in moderation as far as I'm concerned so I hope this helps if you got a dehydrator and uh, you know how to use it and you know loving people that have uh, motivated you to use it think a prepper think a Pocono prepper good woman God bless country man out now I hope this helps and uh, like I said, if I can do it, anybody can.